Hey, yo, my peoples, what's up? It's your boy, Jackson Murphy, and right now, I am getting ready to take you skinwalker hunting. Oh, hey, Jackson. How's it going, man? Dude, it's been ages. So, you're a park ranger now? Cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, you know. So, um, what are you up to? Yeah, um, I'm actually, I'm heading out by Red Rocks. I'm gonna shoot some footage for my YouTube channel. Cool. Well, be careful out there, man. Desert's rough and it's getting dark. Cool, thanks. Good to see you, man. Ladies and gents, here we are out in the West Desert and we are hunting skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are these Indian demons, these half men, half beasts who get pissed off if you trespass on their sacred ground. So, a trespassing, we shall go. Legend says that skinwalkers are attracted to whistling and that you can tell one is near if you smell sulfur or hear heavy footsteps. Can't whistle, but. I think we're alone here. Whew. Something was definitely chasing me, but I think I lost it. My friends, I believe we just had a skinwalker sighting. And that is how you blow up YouTube. What the hell was that? Hey, somebody there? Shit, scaring myself out here. Freaking joke. Okay, my peoples, I've come back to the site of my sealing walker encounter to look for tracks or other forms of evidence. And let me tell you, I've got chills. Just look at those branches. Something big had to come through there to make that mess. Hey, who's out there? Quit screwing around. I promise you do not want to mess with me. To respect something, it's helpful to understand it. If you stand still and absolutely silent, the desert can tell you all kinds of things. The smells, the way the dirt and the plants feel, the noises animals make. If you stop and listen, you can learn all kinds of things. It'll tell you secrets too. Things you won't see or hear anywhere else. The eyes of the owl at night, the javelina's growl, the mule deer's bark. <laughs> you didn't know any better. You think you were in a horror. They don't think that you still exist cause that's what they were taught in school. 
broken treaties and missing women. Despair is their greatest tool. Don't cut your hair for them anymore. Don't let them tear you from the soil. Genocide comes in many forms. Sometimes it's mascots, sometimes it's oil.